have to be honest with you and don't take this personal. Don't take it personal. When I first heard your track, I just said, mm, Justina. <laughs> I said it like the same way my mommy called you, Justina. Because I remember, if you remember vividly, the first day I met you, it was a terrible day, wasn't it? Uh, and you know, I so much like you, I so much like you because of the attitude you have. When I met you with a friend, also an artist, we were driving, I was going to DJ somewhere, and my lovely car started smoking. Smoke was coming out. And with a lady in the car, trust me, some ladies, they always think they are all there. You understand when you are in a situation. Ladies will walk out. Some ladies don't have anything. Some ladies, not all ladies. They will walk out and they leave you there to deal with your car. You did not do anything like that. You stood by me until we got the car safely to the party. And that was very, very impressive. And that was what I was thinking about. Oh, oh, Justina. And then I played the track second time. I began to see senses in me. I said, DJ, I said, no, 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 no. This is this can't be just dinner. This is gonna be wild. Boom. You did it. Were you surprised? Um why are you smiling? <laughs> did I talk too much? <laughs> Do you know the story about the car thing? This is Please don't tell me <laughs> Don't tell me No more. <laughs> You were, you were so supportive. That's what I'm saying. You know, and I'm saying this, I hope faith doesn't change you because that kind of personality is very good. And you go far in the music industry and yeah. everything you do. Understand? So tell me, why did you come up almost sexy? Did you see a sexy guy? Because in the video there was this sexy guy. I always dream to be like you. <laughs> He's so muscular. I, I see that, that, that guy has put me in trouble. <laughs> Everybody keep asking for his contact, for his details. Like, oh, oh, ladies! Oh, oh, guys, hello, guys. He <laughs> <laughs> is so. Wow! Uh, yeah, that is Zeno. Zen, he's very humble. And he was willing to do it. He's, was he a model? Yeah, he's a model, but I tell you, he volunteered himself for that video. I actually. Yeah. I had another model that was supposed to do that video for me, and the model came late. We were running late, it was serious traffic that day in London, and I was late as well to the location, but I got there before the model. But Zeno was called, he was told like two days before the shooting, like, there's this song. He said, Yes, I've heard that song. Please, can I be a model for this video? And I was like, I, We have another model, but you can come around just to see if they need. Mm -hmm. And he just came and he was there before everybody. He was just there and luckily he was there because our model was late. Was late. Was, he came out halfway the shooting and we've already mm -hmm. used this guy mm -hmm. long way. So I was very proud to have him. And he's half Nigerian. His father is Nigerian. Okay. And he's lost his dad. And he, since he lost his dad, he doesn't know anywhere in Nigeria. He's way back home. And so he was happy to be involved in something about oh, Nigeria. And hopefully, if things go well with everything, I'm probably inviting invite him to Nigeria in one of my own concerts in the future. Actually, Omoto Sexy is a song that I didn't expect to have. I was recording in Abuja, late in Nigeria, with Mikoyo, producer. And um, I did a couple of tracks, and it was like, like I said, I made massages because I want to do what Nigerians will love. So I did like six tracks and he was like, okay, we still need something. And um, I sat up and I'm like, oh, okay, what will put a smile in Nigerian faces? What will make them happy? Okay, why don't you do something that will make the guys feel proud of themselves? That will make them happy because if you listen to music these days, we talk about we sexy ladies, beautiful, how beautiful we look and everything. We actually don't take time to say, guys, <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> so I sat down with, uh, with Mikoyo, my producer, and I was like, okay, Mikoyo, are you sexy? 